Hello Capricorn, it's me, Brandy from ToriandI.com. Psychic text, uh, purple garden, wherever you want to go, but mine is ToriandI.com. This is for the next couple of weeks. I am going to go ahead and draw one of these out with you watching, but I will have to look it in the book because it's not organized. I just got them. It is to deal with Pluto, which is what is happening right now. Okay. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Spirit, Archangels, and Guides. Going on for my cappies. Devil. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Okay. You guys see that? Devil. Devil, devil. Devil, I want it to focus though. The devil. <laughs> My word. All right, let me look this up. I think there's no rhyme or reason in this book. I just got it. Anyways, <clears throat> let's continue all the shadows. <laughs> okay, addiction, abuse, aggression, and control. Which, by the way, I'm Brainy the Shadow Worker, if you're new to me. There is a outside force, feels more feminine though, uh, trying to kind of do this or control whatever situation that you have going on. But let's let's keep going. Just like a few others in the deck, the devil is a special card representing more of a mythical creature or concept. Should the devil card appear in a reading, there is something sinister at play that requires total ruthless honesty on your end. It's a call to get real about the patterns, behaviors, or cycles that you are perpetuating that are unhealthy. This, in a way, is the very essence of shadow work. As a byproduct of life, each of us inevitably has at least a few ways in which we tend to self-sabotage. This is the moment to name them. Is it addiction, abuse, codependency, something else? How are you engaging in and perpetuating this pattern now? It's to, it is not to poke guilt or shame. It is not to trigger a trauma. It is, however, a calling out. It's highly probable that you're already aware of these behaviors and know that they don't serve you. Even if there is comfort and familiarity, continue to sabotage yourself only holds you back from your truest potential. It may feel scary to let go, but it's time to change the narrative. What's your first step? You need to name it. You need to write it down and you need to take it. Further reflection is power and control aren't always a bad thing. Humans, we often seek these things out after our power and control has been taken from us. Much of the occult path surrounds regaining empowerment and controlling our impulses and unhealthy behaviors to evolve and grow into better, healthier, more capable people. Pluto and Scorpio are both energies in astrology that deal with the matters of addiction, abuse, power, and control. Saturn, in evolutionary astrology, Look at three energies in the chart to unpack long-standing trauma and the karma we are reaping. Unfortunately, they circle back to these same themes time and time again, each to learn something new. When channeled correctly, many of these unhealthy tendencies can transform into an unbreakable will and incredible power. And how can you redirect that energy that best serves you? We will dive into this a little more. Okay, because I feel like you are in a situation that you may want to glamorize, but it's really the poison. It's not your cure. It's, it's the poison. It's not your cure for it. Okay. Um, right. oh, I'm getting freezing all of a sudden. It's like, there it is. This is the time of the karma, folks. Thank you for bearing with me. Like I said, I'm Brandy. Us earth signs like our um, repetitive pattern, sadly. What's this? Dazed. Enough time has been spent wandering around in a listless daze. Even if you're unsure of the direction you're heading, just start by doing something. <laughs> just so you can seize it. One more spirit, please. For 
Capricorn. Paralyzed. Come, guys. Come on now. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear. But standing still can be just as frightening. At least moving forward can create a change. <clears throat> Let's keep seeing someone get like hit over the head. <laughs> you know, like what just happened? Very obscure. What just happened? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not lying. Like I literally just did. Taurus is terrifying. I'm a Taurus. Okay, but it's the will of karma. It's the, the snake eating the tail coming out of the dark again. You know how many times I've been in the dark? I literally rule Saturn and, and Pluto and karmic. And I have to constantly rebuild. Constantly do something refreshing. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. But anyways. <laughs> things from your past are trying to get resolved. Okay? They just want you to actually face them. But with honesty. Where have you been holding yourself up? Where can you be honest with yourself about that? You know? It's like you need to be quick on your toes. How curious are you? Uh, like, why, where are you getting your your power, your energies? Like, are you doing it in diverse ways? Are you just spinning your will? Like, you ha are about to get some freedom with that honesty to look at things, right? Um, and it's like an impasse in a relationship maybe that you've been in. Like, maybe you weren't really able to reach that decision. Like, you've been paralyzed. It's temporary. Uh, the, you do represent the devil. And good pleasure is always okay. Overdoing that. Ex uh, you know, like psychology. Doing the same thing, expecting a different result is madness. And that's how I would sum that up. It's okay to do sometimes. Right? But this is about... I don't know. I feel like you've been, someone's been needing to learn a new skill set, okay, to diversify themselves. Um, I also want to say someone needs to be very careful with Saturn, probably. And the fact that I'm picking up words and like telling yourself stuff, maybe even Mercury, where is that in your chart? So you don't spell things, so you don't cast things out onto yourself and kind of bring like that bad luck. Like you do have power. I mean, you're a major arcana, right? But you do need to use your words. You need to learn to speak. Maybe you need to write a book. Maybe you just need to put out a podcast. I don't know. Someone's really good with their hands and their eyes and their brain and the ability to like think things through. But because of this energy, you've been dazed and you've not been able to come up with new ideas. You've been overlooking certain things. You've just been... Well, like they said, in suspension. And it's like, you really need to clear out that. Like, you can use feathers. Um, you can use smoke, incense, smudging, whatever. Prayer. But it's time to really put that down. Baby Karma, do not come over here right now. <laughs> do not. Um, Alright, let's see. <sighs> the wild unknown. The wild unknown. Capricorn, Summon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Son of Cups, which is, uh, Knight of Cups, yeah. Mm, I believe so. Knight of Cups in the Wild Unknown. You feel stupid having to ask for information or, uh, because maybe you're older or starting anew. That is starting anew, friend with the world that is closing out that pattern, that cycle. Just which way do you go? With the two of wands, three of swords under there. So the three of swords, uh, two of cups as I continue. The three of swords is that disappointment. That thing that I'm talking about. You're refusing to choose, right? Um, you're refusing to end out a cycle because you're terrified of something new, which is where you're just wandering around and wasting your life at this point, right? You don't want to be alone as well. <laughs> or you don't want to feel a loss of any kind, right? 
it's not it's probably not really come to pass it's coming though right but that's why they want you to fully examine your life before that head-on thing comes before it becomes a bigger source of like the pain okay it's like an apology using your words uh, correcting things for a new you know new 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 it's just like you need to approach this kind of with compassion for yourself to like avoid any of that crazy damage okay all right ooh, ooh. it's getting colder <laughs> the nine of pentacles nice so far with the paralyzed the king of cups and the sun okay um the Outer of pentacles and the chariot in reverse and the fool so maybe uh by march if you're looking for a timeline anyways <sighs> this is insecurities um that is insecurities looking over here at the financial um situation just just so we're clear here you don't think you're worth the money that you could be making or worth more mm -hmm. that is nothing but harboring dark darkness really to me the king of cups that's a lot of emotions pent up not really making any type of decision so um but you want this contentment but you're not doing anything about it which is the paralyzed and it's like you are in that state and maybe you think you're stable enough but really you're not and you're not really getting the fruit of your labor or appreciating what you can to find the satisfaction and, and creating something else and it's like you are supposed to come to that realization with the sun you know of gratitude of blessings multiplied where you can do things yourself you can be self-employed you can make that money you can be content you can have more time you know what i mean but you have to put the work in here the devil would also be like put your nose down and do a few more things for two more months so you can have that payoff so you can do that so you can learn something you know the the flexibility i mean so if you're here and you're listening um, here's your sign whatever you've been putting off stop I mean it's that simple whatever you've been putting off and causing you to not be happy and repeating something that's just crazy stop and then my friend so let's get an oracle and we will close this out for you inner peace thought you guys seen that and that's a fish maybe you're dealing with the Pisces maybe they're trying to get you in touch with your intuition I mean I could say so much here. Let's find out. Let's see what they have to say. And then I'm going to go eat my dinner and finish out the earth signs. Hopefully. Okay. Well, I wanted to focus. So give me a sec here. This camera. You, you, the, the ridiculousness of the prices anymore. And then you like got to sit here and it won't just do it. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Simply sitting next to a lily pond, watching the dragonfly soar overhead and looking at the luminous lily pads floating gently on the water while their translucent flowers open their petals to the heaven. It can fill one with a sense of profound and everlasting peace. Lilies grow in many countries and have been given a wide range of meanings. Okay. Let's turn. However, it is the notion that out of the darkness and mud arises a thing of immense beauty and grace. No matter how much darkness there has been in your life, you can rise into enlightenment and profound tranquility. Wherever the Three of Swords was. You know what I mean? Inner peace is your birthright. Tranquility occurs when you realize that your life is unfolding according to the plan. It needs it's not something you have to work for or search for because it's already there the inner peace to simplify your life to spend time in nature to listen to the message of your soul true peace transcends fear 
and connects you intimately to the Creator to breathe deeply, fully knowing all that is well. That is you wanting that, but not believing it. Like a fish is a fish, bro. Fish is a fish. I feel like, yeah, you're not trusting. There's a lot of water. Um, trust is under there as well. Water. What else? Diligence, right. And be open. Be open. So you have two months to plot, to do, to change, to know that you can get there. You can be content, okay? With yourself, your own, your own self-made Self-make, you can self-make, right? Um, you can give me an amen down there in the comments for sure. I pray for peace for you to find the peace within you. Catch you later.